What's wrong? Your shirt? I don't know what your shirt is. Super clean! Actually, this company sent us this stuff saying, like, do you want to try for our camping channel? It's like a degreaser. It is really good. It works great, like, on your Blackstone, right? You have, like, the grease splatters up along the outside and, yes. like, down the knobs. Stuff works phenomenal. So, it's time for another keto box because we have Anthony here and you're going to get some brutally honest opinions. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Joe. And I'm Anthony. And this is Two Crazy Ketos. And here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews and we talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on a couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. Now, you can find us on all kinds of social media like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we also have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And also don't forget to hit that little bell button so that you are notified every time we upload a new video. So it's time to open up the March edition of the Keto Box. Came a little late this year yeah. or this month. And uh, usually we get it like the first couple of days of the month and we didn't get ours till like the eighth. So if you don't know what a Keto Box is, this is a monthly subscription box. Uh, comes with a lot of little goodies in here all like keto friendly products. And uh, every month, Anthony, who is not keto, who's our middle son, comes and sits down with me and we try everything in the box. We're also gonna go over all the ingredients and the nutrition label, as well as how much it costs. And there better be a meat stick. There, there better was one be a last, meat stick. last month. Okay, we gotta pause, because I need my glasses. Maybe if I just keep doing it, he won't notice that I've started without him. I didn't look at anything while you were gone, by the way. You didn't look at anything? I didn't look at anything. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, there's a lot of stuff in this box. So I kind of went through it because I had to pull the prices because one thing about Keto Box, they don't give you prices on how much everything costs. All right, we're going to start with these because these are usually the weakest link of all of them. I'm going to give these to you. Sun Warrior. There's so two. there are these are protein peptide clean keto shakes. Uh, we have vanilla or tropical vanilla. I don't know what constitutes vanilla as tropical. And chocolate. So the ingredients are MCT oil powder, which is coconut oil and acacia gum, fava protein, which is a legume, organic pea protein, organic Dutch cocoa, organic chocolate flavor, organic prebiotic fiber, organic brown rice peptides, organic guar gum, sea salt, marine algae, organic stevia, and contains coconut. And then the vanilla one is uh, the MCT oil powder, fava protein, organic vanilla flavor, organic pea protein, organic prebiotic fiber, organic brown rice peptides, organic coconut flavor, stevia, or sea salt, marine algae. So I guess what makes it tropical the, is coconut. Okay, so wouldn't, that, so wouldn't the other one be cho tropical chocolate? I don't know. Now the other one doesn't have... Contains coconut. That's coconut oil. Whereas this one actually has like coconut flavoring. Oh, great. Uh, so both of them are 280 calories per serving, 21 grams of fat for the vanilla, 20 grams of fat for the chocolate. Uh, we've got, let's see, protein, 14 grams of protein, 14 grams of protein, 10 total carbohydrates, seven dietary fiber, making it three net carbs. This is 11 total carbohydrates, seven dietary fiber, making it four net carbs. I don't know, that's a lot of carbs for just a protein drink. Mm. And uh, if you have any kind of allergies to like legumes, uh, you can't have this. So yeah, I, I don't know. That's that's not water. This is, I put almond milk. I grabbed almond, I gave it, I'm giving it its best shot. Blend one pack, well do you have two? I have two of them, here you go. What's your favorite beverage? Okay. I'm gonna make a mess. So will I. Do it like off the table so that we don't have to clean the tablecloth as much. Now you're supposed to mix this with 10 ounces of your favorite water. beverage. No, oh, it's, I thought it said water. Oh no, it does say favorite beverage. Okay. Ooh, it smells good.
and she just snapped that wedge. Okay. Which one are we going first? Chocolate. No shot, there's no sugar in there, right? It's got, it's got a good flavor. It's very chalky. It is, but it's very, it's, it's, it's like, pretty good though. It's like chalk. Maybe it says that it's supposed to be in the fridge for X amount of time. It says you have to consume it in the same day. Refrigerate and use, oh, refrigerate and use prepared products same day. Yes. Maybe, maybe. And also like don't expose it to heat or sun. So like, uh, what's up with that? Okay. I don't know, it's very chalky. It is very chalky. It does have a good flavor though. Ooh, that's pure coconut. I mean, I actually like coconut, but. I'd have a palate cleanser. Oh, okay. I don't have a drink. Oh, I do, I have an old one. That's like, I don't know, no. Vanilla, my butt. Not for me. That's coconut. It's coconut. Okay. Um, I'm not actually super happy with these ingredients. It has like prebiotic fiber in there. I, I'm just not happy with a lot of the ingredients. I don't like the legumes. There's like, I know, I mean, if you're vegan, I guess it's a great thing, but I'm not a vegan. Um, and I'm not happy with like 11 total carbohydrates, six gram, six percent net carbs, four net carbs. Like I don't, that's a lot of net carbs for just a protein drink. And it does taste good. It's but it's chalky. Yes. So that takes away from the taste. It's got like an aftertaste. Three dollars a serving, and that's a serving, like ten ounces. That's yeah. like you're not watering this down. If you water it down, I don't know. If you want a good protein, try this stuff. We actually have a link for it down below. This is what Rachel and I have been messing around with for the last few weeks. We really want to try it. This is pure beef protein. And oh, by the way, two total carbohydrates with one dietary fiber. But we have a video on this coming out. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and you hit the bell button so you're notified because it's a really good beef protein. You ready for this one? Okay. We've got vegan chicken seasoning. Vegan? So hold on. This is, this is, it's chicken salt. It's to make your food taste like chicken. Taste like chicken. Okay. But if you're a vegan, don't you want to avoid chicken taste? No, they just don't want to eat chicken itself. That makes no sense. This product was actually- Let me just replace the chicken with the taste of chicken. That makes no sense. <laughs> this product was actually featured on uh, Shark Tank. Mm. Figures. Okay. All right, I'm gonna read the description. Vegan chicken salt with an all-purpose seasoning with a unique chicken flavor resemblance. Comprised of sea salt, herbs, and spices, original vegan chicken salt complements almost any dish in its perfect blend of flavors. Season your favorite dishes before, before during, and after cooking. Australia's favorite season seasoning now vegan. Don't be a chicken. Try me. Uses table salt, rub or bouillon. All right, perfect for French fries. I can see it as good for French fries, but it still makes no sense. So a serving size is a quarter of a teaspoon. Zero calories, zero carbs, zero sugar. Okay. What were the ingredients? Oh, I need it. Sea salt, spices, turmeric, onion powder, garlic powder, calcium citrate prevents caking. So it's basically similar to the organic seasoned salt from Redmond. Tastes like, it tastes like friggin' like, yeah. Like chicken bouillon. No, it tastes like the, the, the yakisoba noodle chicken flavor. That's what it tastes like. Well, it's like. chicken bouillon. Okay, okay well, that's so all it is. here's the thing. You know what else tastes just like that? Chicken. Redmond seasoned salt. The there yellow Redmond seasoned salt. Because that little package, let me have that thing. That little thing, are you ready? This is $9 for this little thing. Uh-uh. So go get the Redmond season salt. But is theirs vegan? Yes, oh, it's okay. salt and spices. Oh, like they're they literally putting some. vegan, it's salt and spices. The Redmond organic season well, salt. Well, apparently somehow this wasn't vegan before because it now says is now vegan. So whatever was in it before, it is now considered vegan. You're passionate about this. I don't understand what makes it vegan before this. I don't what know. Was, what did they put in it? Like actual know. chicken? Okay, so again, if you wanna save some money, 
Go get the Redmond Organic Season Salt. I think it tastes better, actually. And you can put that in water, and it does taste just like chicken broth. And we actually have a discount code. It's 15% off. Use the link down below. You ready? How about that? I should have wore my shirt. It said, mm. I, that, uh, okay. The cleanest ingredients. We've had this before. We have. The ingredients in this are pecans, walnuts, no sugar added milk chocolate pieces, which is chocolate liqueur, um, milk, non-GMO erythritol, inulin, an extract of chicory root, soy lecithin, vanilla salt, stevia extract. And then we have almonds, Brazil nuts, unsweetened coconut, <laughs> hazelnut, sea salt, and avocado oil. So there's four servings in this bag, 180 calories per serving, 17 grams of fat, four grams of protein, six total carbohydrates, three Man. grams of dietary fiber. Didn't the last time we had this, it was bad? It's a, I don't remember. It's a big bag. Like there's a lot of stuff in here. Okay, now that's a, I'm just gonna take the chocolate. And well, the pecans, I don't really want you, you grab like the whole bag. I know, but I'm trying to like make sure we get some of everything. You have to try the coconut. I don't need, I am trying, oh, I want the chocolate. Okay, so I got a Brazil nut and some pecans, and some coconut. Don't like the coconut. Oh, we all know that. Walnuts, good good blend of nuts. Okay, now I remember why we didn't like it. It tastes stale. Mm-hmm. Tastes like there's no salt either. Okay. It tastes better than it did last time, though. It does. I don't know. It's just something about it. it's like off. Like it's a little stale to me. It's like the nuts don't taste like the nuts. I mean, like they using the Brazil some, nut was good. They using some peanuts up in here. Like what happened to peanuts? Like are we just to ignore the good nuts, like cashews? And, like give me like, all the ones that no one cares about. But cashews like aren't good on keto. These are pistachios. I didn't know that. I eat cashews a lot. <laughs> I mean, they're not bad, but they're not the best because they're higher in carbs. Okay. What about macadamia nuts? Because they're expensive. But so are Brazil nuts. Bra Brazil nuts are awesome. This thing is probably expensive. Expensive. Six sixty-seven for this bag. I don't think that's bad because there's some good nuts in here. There's a lot. Of, there's a lot of food in here, but I don't know. The nuts just keep, seem off to me. Hold on. I'm looking. Um, let's do this. No. Yes, I'll do this. Okay. I think I've had these. Fat snacks. Fat snacks, almond flour crackers. Are they, okay, cheddar flavor. I was going to say they're orange. They have yeah. three different flavors. What we're made of, almond flour, butter, coconut, and cheddar. All right, so the ingredients are almond flour, egg white, cheddar cheese, which uses cultured milk, salt enzymes, and natto for color, butter, cream, coconut flour, flax seed, Parmesan cheese, which is cultured milk, enzymes, and salt, aluminum-free baking powder, water, xanthan gum, sea salt, and natto for color, paprika, garlic, rosemary, and onion. Contains egg, almond, and coconut. Um, there are two servings per container. Holy crap, that's a lot. Yeah. 17 crackers. Um, 130 calories per serving, 11 grams of fat, 5 grams of total carbs, 3 grams of, three grams of fiber, so there's two net carbs and there's less than one gram of sugar. And super clean ingredients. I love these things. Like I actually have these like on like repeat order. Like deliver them to me, please. Okay. I think they're really good. They're really good. If you just want a cracker, if you're having a party. Where's um, the crackers? 340. That's not bad. 340 bag, that's regular price. We actually have a coupon code and they're always having sales. There's a link for it down below. They actually have a new cookie too, which I need to try. It's like maple pecan cookie, which I love maple pecan. I emailed Keto Savage. I'm like, I'm almost, I'm, I found like more of those maple pecan keto bricks. I'm like, I'm really gonna be sad when they're gone. Shrewd food, protein puffs, nacho cheese flavor. 
Ingredients, milk protein isolate, natural nacho cheese seasoning, which is non-fat dry milk, whey, salt, cheddar cheese, which is pasteurized milk, cheese culture, salt, and enzyme, chili powder, tomato powder, onion powder, contains 2% or less of garlic powder, yeast extract, spices, natural flavors, paprika, lactic acid powder, sodium phosphate, citric acid, and safflower oil. One serving per bag, 90 calories per serving, 2.5 grams of fat, 14 grams of protein, two total carbohydrates. So uh, I actually really, they've gotten much better. They used to have maltodextrin in their seasonings and they don't anymore. What did, how do you open this bag? This is the best way to open up a single serving bag like this because now you have like a little pouch. Okay. You've never opened up a bag? Like look, it's perfect. Oh, yeah, good. That's a good flavoring. That is a really good flavor. It is. Really good. Oh, I like those. Those are good. Those are good. Um, price from their website is $1.88 a bag. All right. One thing about the prices, while well, you're looking for the next thing, um, I just go online and I go to their websites, but a lot of times you can find them cheaper at some different stores like Thrive Market or on Amazon. So always shop around for things. What are you looking for? I don't even, I'm looking at what I want to give you. I'm going to do this because I really like hummus. Lupini bean, Lupini? Lupini bean hummus Mediterranean olive. I've actually had their beans. They're really good. Made with extra virgin olive oil. 50% fewer carbs than hummus. Well, I would hope so if you're... Um, ingredients, lupini beans, water, olives, extra virgin olive oil, mm -hmm. sunflower oil, sea salt. Um, the nutrition, there are 10 servings in this container. Two tablespoons is the serving size, 50 calories per serving, four grams of fat, um, two grams of total carb, one gram of fiber, zero grams of total sugar, making it one net carb. Have I ever said how much I detest olives? What do you think hummus is? I'm not a hummus fan. I love hummus. I love the, I don't like olives on its own. Your mother does. I can't do that. I can eat it with stuff. I, I can eat it like if it's on. Come on. Oh, why did I smell the wrong thing? Kind of just smells like hummus. Oh my gosh. Get on the cracker. Here. Okay, this is okay. I'm already gonna knock it. This thing is I don't like, like the texture. It's a weird texture. It looks like grits. It looks like grits. No. It's just me or I don't taste anything. I taste something. I barely taste anything. I don't know what hummus is supposed to taste like. Chickpeas. Really, there's no flavor. There's no there's no salt in this. There's no nothing in here. Okay, wait. Oh, I taste it now. It's very subtle. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it, it tastes like olives to me. It, it doesn't taste like olives, I don't know. Normal it's hummus. not bad, if you like hummus, I guess you're gonna really like it. Okay, but my thing is this. It's a nice okay, dip. No, 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 okay, hold on. This is nowhere near as good as normal hummus. And it's saying 50% fewer. If we're gonna go off their math, there's gonna at least be two grams of fiber, so there's gonna be two net carbs for the same serving size. I'm eating normal hummus <laughs> over that. If I am I, on I keto, think, I am eating normal hummus for the extra carbs. I feel like chickpeas has got more carbs than they're indicating on this thing. I've then had their beans. Someone's lying. Their beans are really good. Uh, it's not bad. I mean, it is, if you're looking for a dip, I mean, if you eat this entire that. container, it's only eat 13 queso. carbs. <laughs> queso. And Price on this is $6.25. I don't even know what this is. HVWN Vanilla MCT Oil Powder. So we would normally put this in our coffee. Uh, Caprylic Acid Triglycerides, Acacia Fiber, Natural Vanilla Flavors, Coconut Cream from Trees, Monk Fruit Extract, and Sea Salt. I don't get it. Like, why? We're just putting it in water? What are we doing with it? We're gonna put it in almond milk. It says into your, in, of liquid. Introduce slowly to your diet to avoid an upset stomach. Your body grows accustomed to burning fat for fuel. Zero net carbs, three grams of carbs, three grams of fiber. 
I, Wait, did I hear that it heals stomach aches? No, it's gonna, if, oh. if you eat too much, if, if you have never had MCT oil, it could give you the runs, like Oof. really bad. Um, 10 grams of pure C8 MCT oil powder. You're not gonna drink enough of it for that. I'm good, um, I won't. My only thing is, I, I don't know. I don't know why we're not, what is the actual source of the MCTs? Like I like MCTs from coconut. It's one of the best places to get it. I don't want to come out. It actually, when you buy it, it comes in a tub. Well, that's the thing. You you open the whole bag for the chips, but you make a tiny slice for the powder to come out. I was wondering why is it coming out? You have like, look at this. Where where you? It's put got it? a lot of acacia fiber, which is very sticky. Look at it. No, 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 no. Don't blame the acacia fiber on the fact that he did this small of a hole for it to come out of. You just want to make fun of me. No, because look at the difference. You saw that small but That's hole. how you put your hand This is in how there. big this, he, he offers this one the biggest chance you can have for it, but then gets upset with the other one when it doesn't come out the well, way. I don't want powder to, to go everywhere. You did it anyway. You get to try it first. It's probably gonna be nasty. What is it? Vanilla? Vanilla. It smells like lactate. Tastes like. Lactate tastes terrible. Normally, I would put it in water. I'm, I would never drink it like this. It tastes terrible. It, it's absolute garbage. That's what that is. It's not as good as a lot of the other ones, like the perfect keto one. Um, a dollar and nineteen a serving. That's not bad, but it's still bad. Um, we're making a mess over here. You're That's the same a company. Mess. Why don't we go with that? What? That thing you just had, it's the same company. It's the same company. So they have a bunch of different products. So, this was in, so that's like a, a food bar. Okay. Hold on. Well, there's stuff that I want to do. Okay. <laughs> I'm just I'm just going to have to do two in a row for the end. Um, keto chocolate chunk food bar. Slightly sweet. We're not going to over-exaggerate here. It's slightly <laughs> sweet. That's what it, it... I'm not making fun of it. It says it on its back again. Okay. Um... Made with organic almond butter. So it just, it kind of looks like a weird peanut butter cookie, but all right. It seems like they got the same thing on every package. Okay. Ingredients, almond butter, soluble tapioca fiber, grass-fed collagen peptides, cacao butter, 100% cacao chocolate chips, almond flour, almond protein powder, sunflower lecithin, walnuts, coconut oil, pecans, cashews, hemp seeds. Oh, cashews, there it is. What is, why, why? Okay, hold on, I'll be back to that in a second. Uh, cashews, hemp seeds, natural flavors, Himalayan, pink salt, vanilla extract, cacao, monk fruit extract, organic. Contains tree nuts, cashew, coconut, pecans, and walnuts. Okay, I am confused. Why are there stars on the top of each one? Usually it's like they're organic or something. If you look somewhere, they're going to have a thing telling you what it is. I all bet right. you it's all organic. Oh, okay, organic. Okay, I see it. Yeah, it is. So not everything in here is organic, so that means it can't all be organic. Would that be true? It looked like it was... Grass-fed collagen peptides does not have the little star like everything else has. So does that mean that it's not organic? Because it's an animal. Well, I mean, it could be. All right. Serving size is one bar. Okay. Um, 17 grams of fat, 11 grams of total carb, 8 grams of fiber, making it three net carbs. It's a lot of fiber for, mm -hmm. like... It's... Oh, I thought it was going to be a cookie. They advertised a cookie. Wow, that is... They advertise me a cookie. You're going to blow out my microphone. They advertise that, me a cookie. That is, yeah, that, like, that's a knock right Little there. Little snakes. This, this is a bar, Ooh. and it looks like it's going to be a cookie. You're, I agree. I thought it was going to be a cookie. It looks like a crust I mean, bar. they call it a food bar, but oh, it looks like a cookie. This thing's falling apart like a friggin' Nature Valley granola It's all bar. fiber. It's falling apart like a Nature it's Valley granola fiber. bar. It's all fiber. On a scale of... One to nature Valley granola bar. How much is your life falling Ew. apart right now? You gotta eat it. Ew. What is the taste in there? It tastes like sand. Oh. Ew. I got it. Ew. Oh, that's disgusting. I know what it Maybe tastes like. Maybe you'll like it, but it no. Tastes like a, it tastes like a keto bar, but without all the good ingredients. <laughs> <laughs> same, same, 
Same well, consistency, but except for, same feel, except for none of the good flavors in it. The funny part is, is they're like lightly sweetened, which it is lightly sweetened, but they're yeah, very lightly sweetened, like none at all. Because, well, they're, no, they're, they don't even put a sweetener in here, do they? Oh, they have monk fruit extract, but um, the second ingredient is soluble tapioca fiber, which is most likely an IMO fiber. Oh, I'm excited about this. They actually sent us a whole box of these. We got them a couple of years ago when he first launched them. And it's taken him a long time, but he's got another flavor now. These are the Keto Fit Bars Salted Caramel. The ingredients here are organic almond butter, chicory root fiber, organic, uh, rather grass-fed bovine collagen, organic cocoa butter, MCT oil powder, MCT oil made from coconut and acacia gum, sunflower lecithin, coconut oil, Himalayan pink salt, natural flavors, and stevia. Um, 300 calories per bar, 24 grams of fat, uh, 13 protein, 13 total carbohydrates, nine grams of dietary fiber. Boy, he's still up there with a lot of fiber in there too. A lot of that chicory root fiber. We're starting to play the fiber game with a lot more of these products. You ready? Mm -hmm. Did we say how much that thing was, by the way? Oh, we didn't because it was so bad. It was, what was it? That It was the food Keto bot. chocolate chunk. $3.32. Yeah, no, not worth it. Here you go. It was like orange. Whoa. That's a good salted caramel flavor. Yeah. That was pretty good. Took a minute for it to hit, though. Mm-hmm. That's good. I like that. Okay. Very fatty. Okay. Um, A little bit higher in fiber than, than I'd like, but this is really good. It's got a good flavor to it, at least for me. I know. It tastes subject subjective, so. I'd like to point out that his yeah, your side is dirty and my side is completely clean. That's because you're making me store everything Bull. on my side. You've got Bull. the box over there. Bull. I've got all the leftovers. Stuff. Trash. Trash. <laughs> Even more trash. Uh, Hummus. Price on the Keto Fit Bar is $3.33 a bar. Okay, I'm doing the last two because you made me go out of the order that I wanted to do. <laughs> Monk Pack Keto Granola Bar, Honey Nut. I just thought it was funny because it was Honey Nut with the squirrel there. <laughs> so I wanted to do. We've this had one. Monk Packs before. I like them. I just thought it was funny because. Okay. Yeah. Um. One gram. Oh, I'm reading the front. For all of life's adventures. Serving size is one bar. Twelve grams of fat. Um. Twelve grams total car, four grams of dietary fiber, one gram of sugar. Ingredients: almonds, allulose, sunflower seeds, coconut almond butter, soluble tapioca fiber, flaxseed, vegetable glycerin, natural flavor, palm kernel oil, sea salt, mixed tocopherols. 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 Yeah. For for freshness, sunflower lecithin, vanilla powder, annatto, monk fruit extract, re responsibly sourced. Contains almonds and coconut. So there are two grams of net carb. There's 12 grams of total carbs, four grams of fiber, and 5.5 grams of allulose, and minus 0.5 grams of glycerin, making it two net carbs. Okay. Let's see. We've had these before. I like them. It looks like Honey Nut Cheerios in a bar. Okay. It tastes like the knockoff version of it. Like, you used to get these when you were a kid as a bar, like the Lucky Charms cereal bar. It's actually really good. Oh, wait, hold on. I spoke too soon. The other ones are better, like the seed bars. I ate it and I immediately tasted honey, and I love honey. And then, and then, and then, a, and then a weird taste came into my mouth. The sunflower seed like texture is kind of. I don't know. Like honey it's nut. like, I'm kind of like half and half on that one. Yeah, it's like Honey Nut Cheerios. I don't really like Honey Nut Cheerios, but if it's there, it's a I little bit eat sticky. it, I'll eat it. It's a little sticky for me. All right. You got your bar, your meat stick mm -hmm. back. Is this the last item? Yeah, this is the last oh, one. Oh, the price on those monk packs, $2 a bar. I like the other ones better. Like they have a, a seed bar. Those they are obviously better. watch the video because they're putting the meat stick back in the box. Okay. I'm glad you think that they're watching our box, our videos, I think they are. and they're they're curating the box based on what Anthony, a non keto person, wants. If you're watching, put another meat stick in there just just so I can prove that. Just an hour. So you want just to prove you want two meat sticks. Two meat just for this box, just to prove that you're watching. Okay. And when next month they there's two meat sticks, I'm gonna say I told you so. Okay.
The meat. I think they curate the box a couple months ahead of time, so it would probably. Well, be like, like three months then. Give okay. Me two meat sticks. So within the if next, I see two meat sticks, I know that you've within listened. the next three months you want Keto Box to, or pull, at least another meat product. Maybe not a meat box, stick, but maybe like pull our box aside and make sure that there's at least two meat products yes, in there. Tag so them. That, so okay. tag them in the video. They'll watch it and they'll do it. Okay. Um, it's a pepperoni pork stick. I don't, um, pork, sea salt, less than 2% of sugar, celery powder, spices, paprika, cherry powder, cherry powder, spice extractives, garlic powder, lactic acid, starter culture, not from milk, encased in collard, beef, keratin, caramel, beef, collagen casing. Okay. 90 calories for the stick, six total grams of fat, three total grams of carb, no sugar. Three, three carbs? carbs. And a meat that stick? Took me That's a, a lot. That's a lot. Oh, I tear it. This one's not. This one's different. They lied. Yeah, I, that monk pack, I don't like that one as much. It's kind of like giving me an aftertaste in my mouth. Don't use your teeth. And uh, I don't know. It almost, I, I can't explain the texture to it. Mm. Mm. Mm, this is the problem. I shouldn't, I shouldn't, that shouldn't take that hard. It's good. How did you taste like pepperoni? I don't think I've ever had a pepperoni beef. I've never stick. either. Pork. I love pepperoni. This is good, but why would I not want to just go eat pepperoni? Just go buy a bag of pepperoni. Yeah. And how much carbs. is this? A dollar thirty-seven. You go to Walmart. The pepperoni, a, a thing of pepperoni, is like a dollar. Yeah, just go buy a bag of pepperoni. There's a lot more pepperoni in the bag. Than this. And it's because. The the casing makes it really chewy, mm -hmm. right? It's not like I mean, it's good. It's I'm good, good to eat it. But I, I've never had a pepperoni meat stick before, so that's pretty good. Well, that's gonna be the end of this month's keto box. Anything? Uh, did you find anything you really like? I'm trying to think. These are pretty good. Yeah. I've always loved these. These shrewd foods. I think the shrewd food is getting better and better and better. I like the the, the crackers. You, well, we've had these before, though. But I like the crackers. You like the crackers. And the protein pubs. Okay. Well, that's going to be the end of this video. Now, we do have some other videos you may be interested in. I'm going to link them right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm going to put right over here. You're pointing the wrong way. I know what I'm doing. Okay. Well, whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and hit that little bell button so that you are notified every single time we upload a new video. And until next time, bye. bye.